Hi, Legends! Merry Christmas! So, I was feeling super inspired this morning in a great mood. Jackson woke me up, like, at the crack of dawn to open presents, and he enjoyed everything he got. He received a lot of presents, and, uh, I just am attentive listening mom. Jackson's my only one, by the way. And so, when we go places and he tells me that he wants things... I don't want to spoil him because he's an only child and he has some toys and he just turned four and he has some toys like from when he was one and I don't want to spoil him so I'm just like oh I sometimes say yes but I a lot of times say no but I listen to what he wants and what I do is uh I I put it in the back of my mind and I get it for Christmas and I don't want to get too many toys even though I can't afford to do it like I try to get like between four and five toys uh, because he gets toys throughout the year and then he can get some from, you know, his dad and his grandmas and everyone else. So I don't probably don't even need to be buy that much. But then when I do buy so little, I'm like looking under the tree and I'm like, oh, this may not be enough. But, you know, Jackson's an awesome kid. He's always so grateful and everything. And basically we had an amazing morning and it put me in such a great mood. I said, let's make the start the rise to riches challenge. And let's create a video. Let's pump one out there for my two subscribers as a thank you for subscribing and making my Christmas. And here we are. I moved Mar Lisa Marie Marvel, who's the Rag to Riches princess, into Brightchester. There was a home here on this lot, which I bulldozed. Um, and you guys, I'm making this video for the third time because I keep screwing up. Sorry. I'm human. If you bulldoze the house, the lot is worth, let's see, the lot is worth $1,000. So I generally add traits to the lot, like Penny Pixels is one trait. Uh, I am going to add a trait, Gnomes, and that means Gnomes will come by and they help you fix things. Cause that could be helpful. I don't know how often they're going to do that, but it'll be helpful. And then I'll add something else. I don't believe in just, oh, study spots. That seems like a good one. So, let's look at our beautiful Princess Lisa Marie Maribel, and then I'll tell you guys about her. So, Lisa Marie is from Trinidad, right? And I gave you the backstory on her name and everything like that. And she moved to America with her parents. It was just her mom and her dad, and they came to America because they wanted to give her a better life. And they moved to a city called Pleasantville, which is adjacent to Brightchester in our Sims universe. And, um... There was a terrible car accident, I know, so cliche and overdone, but we're going to use it just the same. And her parents were tragically killed. She doesn't have much family, and after burying her parents, she was only left with 400 and something simoleons. With that being said, she also uh, was renting, so she has no place to stay. And it doesn't matter, like, although she's really sad her goal and her heart just desires to honor her parents and the best way she knows how is by getting her education and trying to have the best life she possibly can despite this tragedy um she doesn't have a place to stay but uh she's nervous about it because she doesn't know many people here but she said to herself you know what i'm gonna apply for college i'll live on campus and that'll be that i i wish i had a mod that made um student loans more expensive we may not have it this first episode but i'm gonna find it before the second episode now guys i'm I, I don't know am i slow maybe i don't know but this is what i have to do in order to uh cheat the money system and make it like smaller what i end up doing is i end up buying like tons of stuff and giving it away as gifts because I just, I'm sorry, I don't know how. Like, I don't know how. I've tried, and it doesn't work, and I usually get myself frustrated. And this just works for me. So this is what we're going to do. Uh, okay, customized portable computers are really expensive. And I need something that's going to fit into my inventory. Yeah, so we'll do that. Maybe I can... Okay, let's... Uh, let's get something else. I, I'll probably need that too, but uh, oh no. Okay, like that's a good option. I have to buy so many of these. 
All right, so she has $645 to start with, okay? That's fine. So we're going to pick this up, put it in our inventory, and give it away as gifts. Uh, we're either going to look for Sims or wait for Sims to come to our house. We'll do that. Ah, oh, Wicked Whims. Uh, I love it, but I don't know if it should be in this Let's Play. In this mailbox, I don't know. The mailman may be able to reach it. I'm going to assume so because the Sims team actually put it here. Oh, she's she's going to gain a skill. Why not? Why not? Go ahead, Lisa Marie. Gain a skill. All right. You know what, guys? You know what? Are any of these cameras worth... I'm, I'm making up a story as I go. I'm going to actually let Marie, Lisa Marie keep a camera. Uh, sorry, not a camera, a, a violin. Because it just gave me an idea since she started playing it. Okay, we don't want a child's violin, right? Or a guitar, that would be nice. But we're going to make her play the violin. Let's say that, you know, her love of music came from her dad. She And she has a little more money to start with. I'm going to give those things away so she has $756. I don't want her to be like completely destitute. And um, that's what she had after she buried her parents. Can we build a little shacky shack, shack shack thing? Guys, I don't know. I don't even know if a bed could fit in here. And I think lowering the walls, if I can figure out how to do that, makes things cheaper too. Oh, I don't think so. Right. I don't think so. It looks about the same. She's not going to be able to fit in there. Mm. Okay, what can I fit in here? I'm going to try, guys. This is going to be tough. Alright, so what can, can we get a bed? Oh, guys. Mm. And it's raining. That's what makes me so nervous. Okay. Guys, I'm going to the gallery. I'm going to the gallery. Uh, gallery. Let's put Shaq. And we're gonna go, because I always go to that gallery. If I can't do it myself, it's just easier. Okay, we're gonna put a Shaq, we're gonna put lots, and we're gonna say zero to that much money. Really, a thousand dollars, I wish we could put in that. And see if anybody has something. Three thousand. Even the cheapest is three thousand. This is seven thousand. Three thousand. But maybe these. Could, I mean, this could be like goals for me. Like a tiny house. I think if I was in a situation like Lisa Marie, I would try to get up as much money as I could so Amazon could send me a tiny. <gasps> This is a thousand dollars, but it's just a shell. <laughs> Cheryl Shack, seven thousand dollars. I wish I could put this in order by price. And I'm not gonna farm. Like I have school. Okay, I like this Cheryl. Like there's some ideas here, but I think I have to figure this out on my own for now. Cause like I need a door. All right. I'm not the best builder, guys, so, but I need a door, oh my god, like, this, it's like no point in even having this structure. Okay, so, so, how did I get all that money? Okay, I do want the violin. That violin stays with us. So, I know it's not a priority, but I want it. Uh... So we can get a bush. Or should we get a plumbing? Toilet. 
We need a bush. We'll start with that. Ooh, okay, I have an idea. What about a tent? Okay, she's going camping. Can we afford a cooler? Alright guys, this is our house. It seems like she should live in that other vacation place. Alright guys, so this is our home. And it, it matches my building skill as well. <laughs> Alright, so this is our home. We'll put that there and we'll put our bush here. We don't have a shower. Uh, uh, let's see. Can we get like one of those portable showers? It would be cool if someone could make a house where you live in like a van. Kind of like that famous YouTuber with that snake, Alfredo. That would be kind of cool. Alright, I'm going to look for some people. Okay, people. Hi, Lilith. Greet the new neighbors. Hi. Thank you guys so much for coming over. Let's put that in my inventory. I gotta give stuff to you. You know what I hate about giving gifts away? Because, like, I'll give gifts away, and then the neighbors will be all ungrateful, and I'm like, Ew. Like. Alright. Alright, let's stop this. Invite them in. They're already practically in. <laughs> that one slipped. Um... So we invited them in. Let's put that in our inventory. Let's give some gifts away so that we can... Oh my god. They're like bumping hips at my party. Alright, a uh, funny introduction. It's like I didn't introduce myself to you even though we were talking for the longest time. Oh my god. And they didn't leave the freaking fruitcake, which I could have definitely used. Oh, Jesus. Let's give a gift. Let's give away the violin. Don't you try to woohoo with me. Oh my god, could you guys imagine? Don't you try to woohoo with me! Oh my god. This little pervy old man, like, how dare he? I gotta be careful. Let's give a gift. Let's do an impression. And then we are going to give him a gift as well. Clear out our inventory. Give him a gift as well. Is he woohooing with me? Oh. oh my god. This is like so gross. This is like so gross, guys. I would have never. I would have never. I'm so annoyed by this. He better be a professor. Like, this better benefit me somehow. Let's give him a friendly gift. And let's ask about his profession. Oh, my God. If I woohooed with him about for no reason, I'm going to be so pissed. And he has some nasty attitude. Jeez, guys. Lilith is greedy. Uh -huh. Dorm. <laughs> Dag. Oh, and he's unemployed. Get the F out of here. Get out of my house. <laughs> Actually, I'm just done. Oh, see the pixel penny pixels? I got $46. Just get out. Oh, God. So, like, she lost her Sims virginity. Because it's, I don't even know how that happened. I'm just so angry about it, guys. I really am. This trash can is, I think this would be good. Right? Let's throw that out. And let's apply for some scholarships. <coughs> Why is she focused? Oh, the residential lot. Okay. It's such a great mood. I wish I had homework to do or something. So let's apply for scholarships. We apply for Brightchester. We'll apply for education for all. We'll get our music skill up. We can apply for that eventually. And then we have enough. Oh, we don't have enough money. Shoot. Let's practice. Uh, we need... 
you really need money to um, apply for school. I kind of... I kind of screwed up there, guys. Ooh. I might have to sell the violin. It makes me really sad because I don't know where I could use one for free. Alright. Her needs a- she has to use the bathroom, so I'm gonna have her use the bathroom, and then we're gonna go and play music. I'm sure, like, with a skill level of two, she can- but she's focused, so it's like her skill is, like, running up the scale. So, I'm gonna have her practice a little bit. Let's fast forward this a little bit. And use the restroom, because, like, because she's focused, the skill's going up. Wow, what an amazing lot trait. Alright, she'll practice a little bit, level three, and then we're gonna, like, play for money. Are we friends with Lilith Pleasant? Okay. Okay, if you say so. Alright then, so we'll do that. Um, and I'm pushing it, because she has to really use the bathroom. We're going to have her eat, and I don't want to get her too tired. But after the, after the third skill, she should be fine. Third level up, okay? I'm, I, it's okay, baby. Uh, fast forward, fast forward. Let's get to the third skill. And then let's fertilize. And let's have a quick meal of yogurt. Damn, she's not gonna get to wash her hands. How gross. Okay, it's raining. It's raining. So we'll pretend that she washed her hands in the rain. And then let's put that in inventory. Okay. She's like low key dirty, guys. I'm sorry. She's tired. It's 9 p.m. at night. Alright, so we'll do this in the morning, because maybe she can't get much done anyway, like, at night. Uh, read Wilderness Digest. I don't know what that does, but let's try it. I see no skill going up. It's like her bladder is going down. Ooh! Selling a rainbow butterfly could get her a lot of simoleons. Can we sleep? Like, let's sleep to full, whatever. We don't need to talk to you. Her hygiene's down. Alright, so she's like, I need to go to the uh, Planet Fitness around here and get a membership. Well, she's like, okay, I'm going to pretend to tour the gym. She's like, I'm going to pretend to tour the gym and then take a shower. That's what her plan is today. All right, so let's, oh God, she doesn't have enough money to change her tampon. You guys, life is hard right now. Cereal, let's eat. She is a stinky little something. All right, so we're gonna do that. We're gonna eat, we're gonna try to use the restroom. Her hygiene's so gross, guys. And then take a shower and find eight bucks and put this in inventory and let things not get this dire again because now she might not even be in the mood right oh god okay let's travel let's we have to take a shower so let's oh, i wish i could invite myself to people's houses like his house like what? I don't know. Could you find the paper that came with the telescope and we'll see what we can do? Alright, so we're going to go to Willow Creek because we want to be by the um, pool. And we're going to ask... Okay, it's okay. We're going to ask to tour this gym. And we're going to talk to the manager and say, Hey, I'm new to town. I just want to tour the gym. And like keep our armpits down really tight and close to our bodies. And they're like, sure. And then they're going to give us the tour. And we're going to act all casual and stuff. And say, do you mind if I look around on my own? And they're like, sure, go ahead, look around on your own. And then we're going to we pretend we have a bag with us. We'll jump in the shower. And then when we have enough money, we're like, oh, this is kind of a nice gym. I'll join it. And then we need to go to a park and we're going to play for money. Because, you know, we've seen people do that. Like when we came to this country and at first we're like, oh, who does that? At first, we we're like, oh, who does that? And then we realized, like, oh, duh, that's going to have to be us because we're broke. Like, 
I don't understand why she's not dressed coming out of the gym. Sorry, guys. Like that? I mean, if you go in the shower, aren't you like dressed? This makes no sense. I'm sorry, guys. I have to figure out a way to like blur that. But like, listen, we've all seen boobs before. If you can get online, you've seen boobs before. So it is what it is. Okay, so we're going to go to the park and we're going to try to play for money. It's almost 11. It seems like a good time. So we need money for two things. We need money for two things. Uh, we need money so that we can um, apply for college and we need money so that we can... Um, So we need money to apply for college, and we need money so that we could get like uh, menstrual pad stuff. All right, so she got she six dollars. So one problem solved, and we get our skill up at the same time. So, uh, more. Uh, body care. Let's pay for that. We have to make 75 linden today, guys. We should have probably went to San Machino, right? That probably would have made more sense. And I'm going to limit my, uh, like, collectibles and finds, which I'm kind of keeping an eye out for. I'm going to limit my collectibles and finds to, like, one or two a day. Because I have Penny Pixels, I think it should be one a day. So whether it's finding, like, uh, flowers, or it's finding, like, diggables, or even frogs, we're gonna limit that to one a day. That's what I think, because we should be realistic. Like, in real life, you wouldn't be finding $150 collectibles, uh, but it might be possible that even though you're broke as hell, like, you have a tent and a cooler, like, you manage those things, right? So that's what we're gonna do. You wouldn't be able to get $400 thing collectibles, that's what I'm saying. Oopsie, that's not what I meant to do. And she's really hungry. I hope someone starts grilling soon. He looks homeless too. And she needs desperately needs a face mask too. Wow, look at that acne. It's struck. Let's fast forward a bit. Let's see if we can get some money up. Okay, $8, $8. We're doing well. This is how we're, like, playing for our supper? Alright, guys, I think we might make our goal. Our goal this episode is to apply for university. And then we're gonna look for one collectible. God, she's gonna be really good at this violin thing. Alright, we just need one more donation, and then just a couple more donations just to have a little more extra money. Wow, she got really good at this. You know one thing about The Sims that I like? I like that, I feel like The Sims really is comparable to life in the sense that, like, if you really practice and you work hard at something, you'll be really good at it. She's really hungry. So we need to find out who's made food. It doesn't hurt that she's pretty good. We could use a shower as well. So she's about to level up again, so that should help her a lot with her next set of tips. And she can play country pop. Okay. She sounds better now. Okay, after the next tip or set of tips, I'll stop. Uh oh. Her bladder and hunger is really getting, but she's pushing herself. Alright, I gotta stop. Okay, I have to stop. She's hungry. Where's the restroom? Is here. Let's 
change tampon or pad. And then we're going to find a collectible. And then we've got to eat. And it's so sad that no one's grilled. I wish there were swings here, because I would totally, as an adult, swing. I often go to the parks and swing on swings. It's fun. Oh, something is... Okay, let's get that. That's our collectible. And if we could plant one, even better. Okay, and then we're going to go home. And we're going to go home. Okay, so Lisa Marie is going to apply for college. I'm going to keep one of those plants and plant it. Oh, what are these people doing here? Funny introduction. He's a cutie. Funny introduction. Please, girl, don't be that. Hook up in a bush. Like, don't be that person. She's like, <laughs> discuss interests. And she's like, what are you doing here? And she's like, I saw these tents and I was just wondering what was going on. Let's just ask about her day, and we're going to get something to eat while we do that. Oh my god, my bush still hasn't, like, changed. Alright, so let's apply for university. Are there any other scholarships I could apply for? Like, her music skill is better, so I imagine that she could apply for another scholarship. Okay, good. I think the scholarship, obviously the tuition should be larger, right, guys? But I think the scholarship should be larger, too. But, you know, what do I know? Huh. Alright, so, okay, these bush, she only got one. Alright, I think that makes sense. I'm okay with that. So let's plant this. And then we're going to open our letters. Like, we were too tired to open them last night. She didn't get the bright. She, she didn't get the bright Chester one. Wow. Okay, bright Chester no. And what about this one? Bright Chester. Okay, five hundred dollars. I mean, she's broke, so she needed that one at least. <laughs> Is she dancing? So she's super happy. She got that one. We're gonna water this. It's fall, you guys. I did that because she was wearing boots. Now I'm like, hmm, was that a good idea? So we're going to water this, and then we're going to play. And then read Wilderness Digest because it's fun. I think I would do that. If I lived in a tent, even if it was in the city, I'd be listening to Wilderness Digest. I'd be like, I'm not listening. Or listening to podcasts if I had ear <gasps> earpods. How much are earpods? Because I heard that's good if you had that. Like, if you earpod. Headphones. Pod. The pod is? I don't know what that is. What is this? That looks cute. I don't. <laughs> Maybe she could sell cocaina. Um, you never know. But it would, I would do this if there was real chance of getting arrested and then it'd make an interesting let's play. Alright then, so electronics. No. Ear. Uh, ear. Is it ear? Like, I've never used them, so I don't know how to find it. Earbuds. Music. Uh, I've never used this, so I don't know. I should make a dealer in town for her to buy weed from. We, did, we are not wasting our money on that. Uh, the fish don't do anything, because they would be cute gifts, too. Uh, I don't have my phone here. Alright, I'm going to find out. By next episode, I will find out, like, how to get earbuds and stuff. Um, because I think that would be fine. Like, I want to find out how much they cost. 
next episode, we're going to find out if we got into university or not. We're going to enroll. I don't know, maybe two to three classes because I don't want to do too much. And let's have her... I'm going to push this a little. Her hunger, at least. We're going to have her practice. We have some yogurt. Actually, we're going to read Wilderness Digest first. Um, yeah, so we're gonna find we're gonna get her into university next episode, and I think I might want to take four classes, but I get so stressed out with that. The period, oh, it sucks. Like I'm lucky I don't have these kind of issues, but um, it's like another day for me. But like I have family that's just like they are in pain. Like it is not a joke, guys. Let's throw that away, and let's read Wilderness Digest. And then go to bed. Alright guys, we're at 30 minutes. This is the end of the first episode. I think that this is... We, we're we doing okay here. I think it's kind of interesting. I'm going to think about... I, I think I definitely got to take Wicked Whims out. Because I don't like this whole the nakedness to this, right? I'm going to take Wicked Whims out. Um, and if we have relationships, it's going to be the old-fashioned way. Uh, let's fertilize this bush. Alex wants to hang out with me. I think I might hang out with her. Uh... And, okay, we fertilized that bush, disgusting, and I'm going to have her take, like, get some real sleep. I don't know why she isn't getting any sleep. Uh, Geekon is in town, we're going to definitely go, because we have nothing better to do. Like, let's be honest about this. We're in our tent, and we're playing the violin all day. Uh, so we'll find out if we got into school, we'll try to make some friends, we'll tour the campus, and um, that'll be that. I'm also going to try to find out if, I can make the student loans higher. I think the student loans should be higher, and I think the scholarship should be higher as well. Let me see if there are any mods for that. Wicked Whims is coming out. New mods are coming in, and we are supposedly, hopefully, going to start college next episode. <laughs> I don't get these random text messages. We'll talk about it next episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. Merry Christmas. I might bang another one out, uh, depending on whether or not Jackson needs me. Um, and have a great holiday. This is my Christmas present to you and thank you so much for my two subscribers. You made my life.